Tonight, the Hardy Boys in the secret of the Jade Kuan Yin. The Hong Kong police today announce they are continuing their crackdown on smuggling activities said to be into billions of dollars. Contraband, consisting mainly of narcotics and precious stones, as well as antiques, is smuggled via planes and ships to ports all over the world, where operators of the ring channel the stolen goods to their contacts. The smuggling activities have taken on such international dimensions that concerned government officials from the United States, Canada and parts of Europe are meeting in London this weekend to discuss a coordinated plan of action. In Hong Kong, undercover agents are searching the harbour and the surrounding smaller islands for contraband and the men behind the operation. In the United States, the FBI and various other government agencies are cooperating very closely with the Hong Kong police since this country is probably the biggest receiver of the smuggled goods. When questioned by newsmen about the scope of the operation, a police spokesman only said it's big, very big, but we're making headway. Gary Emerson, IPS TV in Hong Kong. Just. What are they doing here? This cove is always secluded. I wouldn't have chosen this boy. It doesn't matter now, does it? They're just a couple of kids. We'll get that chest back. No problem. When Wang hears what's happened, we'll have the statue back by then. Where'd this come from? Boat, over there. What is it? I don't know. It must have fallen off. Or been thrown. Let's get it ashore. dropped into the ocean. Who by who? That's a very interesting question. Well, what do you think's inside? That's what we're going to find out. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Gertrude. You get some nice shells? That's not all we got. Now, what does that mean? If you caught a cold, just know that I warned you. Mr. Hardy home? No, he's out on a missing persons case which means he's probably be a missing person himself to the middle of the night. Oh, good. That'll give me time to finish transcribing his notes. Oh, by the way, do you mind if I change in your room? Heaven sakes, child, you couldn't make as much mess as those two if you took two fire hoses with you. Thanks a million. Uh, speaking of those two, that thing they were carrying dripping on my carpet, what was it? We don't know yet.
doesn't seem to be any metal in it. Let's open it up. Joe, do you remember the research we did for Dad on the uh, Wolford case? Sure. Almost all burlap is made of jute or hemp. Yeah. And this burlap is made of flax. It's already noted and filed away for future reference, sir. I guess it won't be too hard to trace this uh, burlap. This does not look like the kind of box someone would throw overboard to get rid of. It looks like teak wood. I'll have to run some tests to be sure. Let's look inside first. Great. For the man who has everything. Nice big slab of concrete. Yeah, that's just used to weight it down. <sighs> yeah, I think you're right. This box work didn't fall off and shoved off. Someone was trying to make sure that this sank to the bottom, but why? Right, look at this newspaper. That Japanese printing on it. Chinese. Hey, did you guys find out who's in that box? Jade, isn't it? It's beautiful. I wonder who it belongs to. Hey, we each can own a third of this. That's the law of salvage. Yeah, there's another law that says you have to report any lost or stolen goods to the police. Negative. Whatever is found in the ocean is finders keepers. Well, not quite. Before you go out and order a Learjet, maybe we better check for fingerprints. Hey, Frank, there's some engraving on the bottom. I can't make it out. Well, here, yeah, I'll make a rubbing. Some sort of inscription. I don't know what it means. If you did, you've been taking some classes in school that I don't know about. It's beautiful. It's not one of a kind. It's not unique. Not unique? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why would someone go to all this trouble for something that wasn't special? I don't know, but I'm sure I've seen it in a curio shop in Chinatown. Well, maybe someone there can tell us what the inscription means. To them, we better keep the statue under lock and key. Callie, do you remember where that shop is? Not sure, but I know I could find it. Good. Take us to it. A lovely statue. How much is it? $14 plus tax, like the others here. So much for the Learjet. Are there many of those statues manufactured? Oh, yes, we import them from Hong Kong. Of course, there's only one original Jade Kuan Yin. How much is that one worth? Many thousands of dollars. But its actual worth is incalculable. To our people, it's priceless. Kuan Yin is a Chinese Buddhist deity, goddess of mercy. Mercy? Good, this pair can use all they can get. <laughs> In the old days, she was thought to be the guardian of fishermen, and there was a little Guanyin temple in every fishing village. We think there might be a, a clue here to the age of the statue. No, the inscription is a kind of poem. A branch without leaves, a raven perched on it, this autumn eve. What does it mean? Character poems mean something different to everyone who reads or hears them. This one's well known, written in the 12th century, so your Guan Yin couldn't be much older than that. Well, of course I'm no authority, but it looked very old to me. Wait a minute. A branch without leaves. A raven perched on it. That's it. Well, that's what? Now I know why it sounds so familiar. I have an uncle who lives here. This is his favorite poem. This Guan Yin... No, it couldn't be. What is it? It's so close to the original. Who could tell the real Jade Guan Yin from a copy? My uncle. He's an expert on Chinese art, particularly the Jade Guan Yin. Look, do you think your uncle would see us? I'll take you to him. Oh, Callie, call in Gertrude and the CB. See if you can find out where Dad is. He likes us to keep him informed on what we're up to. I'd like to get his input on this. It's just a short walk. You 
know my uncle has a special interest in the Guan Yin. Have you ever heard of Wu Shu? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the correct term for it is Wu Shu. People call it Kung Fu. No! Oi! 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 your uncle? No, he's a rank amateur compared to my uncle. That is Uncle Chen. He was champion of Taiwan when he retired. Now he teaches Wu Shu. Happy to see you, dear niece. I'm honored to be in your presence. These are two boys who wish to speak to you. Frank and Joe Hardy. Welcome. They found a Guan Yin in the ocean with the Autumn Eve inscription. Has the one you're expecting arrived yet? My uncle wants to talk to you alone. Goodbye. Lily, we just want to leave. Then come. We shall have tea. Thank you very much. How did you know to see me about the stolen Quan Yin? Lily, we didn't know that it was stolen. I am to believe you look for selfish and um, find a waterproof box with a Kuan Yin in it, which my people have paid many thousands of dollars for. Thousands? And you have never heard of Chang Kuo. Chang who? This morning I received a call from him demanding ransom for the Kuan Yin. Wait a I I'm afraid we don't understand. Chang Kuo brought back the evil days of olden times in Chinese-American communities. What does that have to do with the Kuan Yin we found? Chang Ko must have known I was having the Kuan Yin sent to me here from Taiwan. It arrived yesterday in Boston. And the Kuan Yin was missing? Stolen by someone on the ship. Someone who worked for Chang Ko? Well, if he was trying to put the squeeze on you, why didn't he, why didn't he tear this place down? He wants more than that. He also wishes to humiliate me. The Kuan Yin you have found, bring it to me. If it is authentic, if it is indeed the stolen Kuan Yin, then the ransom demand I have received is purely a bluff. If it is the Kuan Yin, we will contact the police and tell them that you have brought it to its rightful owner. It is to be placed in the parade that will be held tomorrow night. We'll bring it to you, Mr. Chen. We'll be back in about an hour. It's safe with us.
también. Are you all right? If you'll get off me, I'll be fine. They got a big head start. Oh, catch him. Business. They didn't even bother to pick the lock. Well, I'll check it for fingerprints. See if you can find anything else. Hi, Gert. Hi. Thought I'd come home early. What's for dinner? Leftovers from the dinner you didn't come home to last night. One of these days, I'll get a nice, cushy nine-to-five job. Nine in the morning till five the next morning? I was neat as a pin when I left. Were the boys here? No. You close the door and wait here. What's going on here? Dad, we found a Quan Yin. It belongs to Chen Li. He teaches Wu Shu. Have you ever heard of Chan Kyu? It's Kyo, not Kyu. Well, he set out two hatchet men. And they got the Quan Yin. It's the old Chinese squeeze. Wait a minute. Let's take this one step at a time. Somebody broke in and took something, is that right? Yeah, the Quan Yin. You see, we went snorkeling after school to help Cali. We'll get back to that in a minute. Now, when did who break in? And for what? For the Quan Yin. About a half an hour ago. A half an hour? The police should have been here in 10 minutes. Oh, you didn't call the police. Well, you see, we're so busy collecting fingerprints. It's... Fingerprints, that's their job. Sorry, Dad. We should have called the police. Now, what is a Quan Yin? <sighs> We 
blew it. You know that? I mean, we really blew it. All right, don't be so hard on yourself. We should have called the police as soon as we found the chest. I mean, obviously it wasn't just dumped overboard. Somebody had to have thrown it. We find a chest with a valuable art object, and we have to go follow it up ourselves. As to what detectives are supposed to do. It isn't even our case. Oh, thanks to us, we've lost the Kuan Yin. <laughs> Second time. And Mr. Chen will probably receive a pretty hefty ransom demand. I just can't help feel responsible, Joe. So we'll take that responsibility, and we'll do something about it. Frank, I don't understand what you're getting so worked up about. I mean, I'm usually the one who gets all worked up. Usually so cool and objective. <sighs> yeah, I'm the level-headed one. Well, you are. The oldest. <laughs> you said it, I didn't. Where you lead, I will follow. That's a pretty dangerous precedent to get into. I'll take the risk. You know, Frank, we never really found out if that was the real Jay Kwan Yin we found. I mean, we didn't have an expert examine it or anything. Well, I can't believe they go to all that trouble for a $14 statue. I mean, the drop off and the secret pickup and all that. So who's behind it? Well, Mr. Chen mentioned, uh, what was his name? Chang Kyo? Kyo. Kyo. <laughs> and wonderful cookies. I didn't understand a word he said, but wonderful cookies. Why would Mr. Chen not tell Lily about the fact he was expecting the real Kuan Yin? Well, he mentioned a parade. He said uh, the Kuan Yin would be featured in. Maybe he wanted to use it as a gift for his people. Breaker, breaker, this is Calico. Come in. Breaker, breaker, this is Calico. Come in. I'll get it. Come in, Calico. Frank, I've been doing some checking with the port authorities. They don't know anything about the jade. But there have been some stolen goods coming into this country off the coast from Hong Kong. Art objects and diamonds. The Jade Kuan Yin may be part of a large traffic in stolen goods. It's a good thing you picked it up. We just lost it. What? How? Stolen probably by the same guys who were supposed to pick it up in the first place. Well, now what are we going to do? That's a good question, Callie. We'll get back to you tomorrow. We've got to get that Kuan Yin back. Well, why don't we give the police a call tomorrow morning? I think they should know about this. As you know, Fenton, we welcome the help of private investigators. But when they're unlicensed, uninformed, and underage, we discourage it. You should have called us the minute you entered the house. Now, just a minute, Chief. Oh, you think I'm being a little uh, rough on them? We didn't lose any fingerprints, and we didn't disturb any evidence. Not calling us right away wasn't the worst mistake you made. Well, then what was? Well, when did you find out that the jade was stolen off a ship? In the afternoon, Mr. Chen told us. We found out yesterday morning from our own sources. Teletype from the Boston Customs Officer. Valuable emerald green jade statuette stolen from SS Taipei. We stocked here 0635 today, imported by Bay Point resident Chen Li. Suspect ransom demand will be made. FBI will cooperate. Well, I was working out a plan with the FBI. The Hardy Boys land and blow up all the bridges. No, they had no way of knowing the statuette was stolen. If you'd have called us when you fished it out, then Chen Li would have had his precious Quan Yin, and I'd have no problems. Sorry, I guess we should have called. I know. We'll get it back for you. No! We'll get it back. The Bayport police. That's why I asked you to come in here, to make that perfectly clear. It's our job, not yours. Uh, you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> well, don't feel too badly, boys. I'm sure the police will find the Jade Kuan Yin. Are you both going home now? I think we should go talk to Lily and explain to ourselves what happened. OK, I understand. See you later. What do you feel about this? I feel we let down Mr. Chen and Lily. Well, the one thing we've got left is the boat, if we can find it. Yeah, but Colin told us to stay out of it. After we found the Kuan Yin, then we'll stay out of it. OK. If you want information about a boat, where would you go? The harbor. You've got it. All right, let's talk to Lily first. I think she can help us. OK. 
Has my uncle ever told you the history of this Kuan Yin? No. About 200 years ago, a little fishing village in China was destroyed by a tidal wave. Miraculously, the people survived, and they gave credit to Kuan Yin for the miracle. They left the mainland and settled in Taiwan. Then they built a temple to Kuan Yin. That statuette you found has been in that temple ever since. Well, I can see why your uncle prizes it so highly. Not just my uncle. Most of us who came here to Bayport are descendants of that small group of survivors. It was my uncle's dream to purchase the Kuan Yin and bring it here. Everyone contributed, even the poor, for it will mean joy and prosperity to us all. If it doesn't arrive in time for the festival, then your uncle will lose face. I just know we'll never see it again. It'll be lost forever. We'll try to get the Kuan Yin back for you, Lily, before tomorrow night. Got it, but those Hardy boys nearly caught us. They don't give up easily. If they find a boat, they'll find my fingerprints on it. I don't want any evidence of any kind left there. What do you want me to do? Destroy the boat. And the Hardy boys? We may have to deal with them, too. Will Chen deal for the new price? He'll deal. But you could tell us if a boat like that was out yesterday morning, couldn't you? Could do if I checked my files, but... 7 o'clock. Do you always work by the clock? If I didn't, I'd be up against an avalanche here. You see this desk? Everything on it has its place. Organization. If you kids will come back tomorrow morning, I'd be glad to find your boat for you. Okay? 9 o'clock. Right. Mr. Haverman, this is very important. That boat may have been used to smuggle contraband into the country. Contraband? On one of my boats? That's right. We've been working with the police and the Port Authority. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to tell them that Mr. Harriman is busy and... I uh, said it was yesterday morning. No, it wasn't one of our boats. You sure of that? I'm positive. There was, um... There was a private boat, though, yesterday. Yeah. Well, what was the name of it? It was... The breakwater. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Is that the boat? That has to be the one. Yeah, it looks about the same size. to find out. Aye, aye, Captain. Now, wait a minute. You two be careful. You don't have to worry. We're old salts. So was the captain of the Titanic. Shh. Listen. Listen.
Check the radio for prints. See if you can find the coin here. Frank. Good. Joe, I hear ticking. I don't see any clocks. Sure it's not your teeth? Joe, we gotta get out of here. It's a bomb. Bomb! I thought you'd have heard of the explosion from here. The Hardy boys found it. Were they on it when? I'm not sure. We didn't think they'd locate the boat so quickly. They may have escaped. Oh, we still have time to deal with them. Hello. I have the Kuan Yin. Who is this? The price now is $100,000. That is too high. It can't go higher. It will take me a little time to, uh, to raise the extra money. You have until tomorrow night. Who is this? You should have listened to my speech and manners more often, old man. Joe, this print matches the one we found in here tonight. It's still busy. 
Who did Lily be talking to at this hour? Hey, come here. Is this the print we found on the ship to shore radio? Whoever was on that boat was in here tonight. Chankyo's hatchet men sure get around. What was that about hatchet men? Well, uh, 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 matchet men. Hey, matchet men. Uh, men who match fingerprints. Yeah, it's actually quite simple. There are four types of fingerprints. Arches, loops, whirls, and composites. Now, with arches, the ridges run from side to side. Now, don't start throwing up a smoke screen. Your father told me to call him immediately if you two got into trouble. We're not in trouble, Aunt Gertrude. Then what are you doing here at 2 o'clock in the morning? Dad just wants us to develop some expertise as magic men. It's very important, you know. Getting eight hours sleep is more important. Well, not everyone needs eight hours sleep. The re latest research indicates... Excuse me, Joe, while I put a call into your father. Oh, good night, Aunt Gertrude. Good night. Good night, boys. Are you sure that Guan Yin wasn't on the boat? Yes, we looked everywhere. Well, then why do you suppose they blew up the boat? Well, we have two theories. One, they know we saw it when they made the drop, and we may be able to identify it. And what's your second theory? That they wanted to blow us up. Good afternoon, dear niece, and deepest apologies to you. My fault you had a narrow escape. No, Mr. Chen. Lily wanted our father to help, and we volunteered. I thank you for that. But we'll make no further request for help. We want to do anything we can. Nothing more to be done. Our Kuan Yin will be delivered tonight. I have decided to pay the ransom. Thank you again. Good afternoon. It seems to me your uncle's sticking his head in the tiger's mouth. I think she's right. Let's go talk to Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen? Mr. Chen? Anybody here? Mr. Chen? He's not here. Hope he didn't go pay the ransom. Joe Lily said Chen Kyo had many friends. If one of them worked out of here... That would explain a lot. <sighs> Let's check it out. Good magic men are always prepared. <laughs> you brought your fingerprint, kid. Is one from the boat's radio. Great, that narrows it down. Ah! Just like we got. Ah! Hey, fella, that's a great mask. Hi! 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 Hi!
think we gave him the slip. Well, that's fair. They gave me heart failure. You realize those are Kyo's men. Spies right under Mr. Chen's nose. Yeah, let's find Mr. Chen. I bet the last thing he plans to make a fair exchange with Mr. Chen, ransom or no ransom. Old man. Wow. It is you who has the Quan Yin. Yes, old man. But you are my most trusted student. Xiao? Chu? All of you betrayed me. It is merely business. All right. It is enough I have the Guan Yin take the money. Oh. Run, Mr. Chen! Look at them, they must be worth a fortune. This is what they were after. That's right. I've taken a great deal of trouble to get it into this country. This isn't the real Kuan Yin. Of course not. So you were the fence the gems were going to. Unfortunately, some of my colleagues uh, decided to go into business for themselves. We can negotiate. I'm afraid not. How much do you think this stuff is worth? Right around two million dollars. And the real Kuan Yin? 
resides in Hong Kong, where it has for centuries. Who are we taking in all of? So you managed to break up a smuggling ring that's been operating for five years. I wouldn't call that being taken in. The Hong Kong police will be very grateful for everything you boys have done. idea of my uncle's activities. You must believe that. We do. It seems that Interpol has been watching them for quite some time. He's one of the principal fences here on the East Coast, dealing with art, objects, and gems smuggled out of Hong Kong. And this latest shipment of gems was the richest one yet. Of course, Chen didn't realize that some of his own gang members would turn greedy. Wang stole the statue from aboard the boat with the intention of selling it to his boss. He dropped it overboard at a place where it would be picked up by our two Chinese friends. Except we were in the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> Once again. What's gonna happen now? We'll do anything we can to help you, Lily. I was just wondering. What were you wondering? Who is Chen Kyo, anyway? I believe it's a kind of Chinese breakfast cereal. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,